Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to create an application in Power Apps for recurring tasks. Tasks that need to be done on a recurring basis is something that we all face. We need to take out the trash every day, or we need to review the books every month or something like that, depending on if it's a private context or a um, business context. But we all have them, things that needs to be done on a recurring basis. And that's what I'm going to show how to build an application for managing those. First of all, we're going to create some tables. And I'm going to do this in Dataverse. I always like to wrap the, the things that I build in a solution. That's a, kind of a package name for what you build in Power Apps. You build solutions. And the solution can contain apps, which kind of sounds strange because those are kind of synonyms. But anyhow, that's how Power Apps does it. So let's call this recurring tasks. Great. And a publisher, if you've created a publisher, that's good to select that. I'll just select one of the defaults here. But I do recommend creating a, a publisher, as I've shown in another video. And uh, let's just create this one. All right. The solution that we're going to build is going to have two tables. So let's create those. First of all, it's going to be the templates the things that need to be done on a recurring basis. Then it's going to be the actual assigned tasks. Those are instances of those recurring tasks. So let's go through it. First of all, we create the new table here for the templates. I call that template. And attachment might be useful in the future. Uh, advanced options. I always like to check what's available here. This is the template. Oh, that's fine. And um, this should be we should audit the changes of course and we also also want this list to be able to take offline that's a good thing so we save this so now I'm inside this table and we have a bunch of columns and as you see there's actually uh, 16 of them and we don't want to see all of those now those are the built-in ones so I'm just gonna deselect all there and just show the name one which is the primary one I could have changed that to a task title or something like that, but name works fine for me, so I'll just leave that. So the next column that we're going to create is the description column. So I'm just going to create new here, a new column. And this is, of course, the description. And that's going to be a multiple line of text. Let's go here. And then we're going to have rich text because you might want to include links and stuff in there, so that's useful. And under advanced options, we're going to make it sortable also, so I can see which ones have a description, which ones not. So that's good. Yep, yeah, that's about it. I also like to put the prefix here on the description to show where it belongs. So I'll just do template description like that. And save. Now we have that column there. I'm just going to go in and show it, the data. Let's refresh that and see if it pops up. I did create it, didn't I? I have it on tape, so yeah, it should be there. Columns. There's the description right there. So let's go back to the template, show the data. There it is. And now 19 more. Description is right there. Okay, so showing that. All right. Next one is the interval. So this is a daily task. Of course, you can make this on minutes also, but I'm going to make it on days. So I'm just going to do intervals here or frequency. And that's going to be a number, a whole number, that's fine. And again, under advanced options, I want it to be sortable and I want to put that in there. The template frequency, that's what we're doing. Minimum value is zero, maximum value maybe uh, 360 days, 365 days maximum. So there we go, there we have the frequency. So let's just do two tasks here. I'm just gonna do um, buy fruit, apples, oranges. That needs to be done on every other day, all right? I'm also actually gonna create one more column here, and that is the next. So this it represents the next time this is to be done. And uh, I'll explain later in the flow why I'm doing this. And, uh, but I'm also going to select that this is a single line of text. And I'm not going to make it a date because that makes everything much easier to work with when I come to the flow later. So I'm going to make it sortable. I'm going to do the same thing. The template next. There. Okay. So 
there I have my templates. Now I'm going to have the actual in instances of these tasks. So now I'm going to create a new table there. One level up, tables. Uh, there we go, table, new table right there. So now it's going to be tasks, um, singular. And of course, we're going to have attachments there also. And we're going to audit the data. And it, we're going to take it offline. Those are my favorite settings. So let's save that. And this task now it only has to have two values, really. We're keeping it simple. Of course, we can assign tasks and stuff like that, set a time of day, but uh, now we're just going to keeping it simple. So this table, of course, has a name column already down here. So let's show that. And then we're gonna, just going to add the description here. And of course, we need to make this the same options, the same style, the same a type of column that we had before otherwise it's not going to work uh, of course then we have sortable and that's about it and yes the prefix also task description all right so now we have the two tables and this part of the demo is done we have two tables and now we we have some data even in the templates and now we're going to go and build the flow that populates this so the tasks for a specific day. That's what we're going to do next. Thank you for watching this demonstration.